Hey Teardrop fans, we've got an exciting video for you today. For the 2024 models, we're going to compare the 320S and the 400. Now, of course, keep in mind, colors are different and you could certainly spec them out how you would love to have them. But today we're just gonna hit those main features that, tell, that help you tell the difference. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go take a peek at these awesome Teardrop campers. All right, so the teardrop craze is on with new camp products. So the 2024 models, we're gonna hit the quick differences on the 320 and the 400. So do your homework on all the other specs. There's a lot here to talk about. We're gonna again hit the differences. First and foremost, you can see the visual difference. We have a larger footprint in the 400 over the 320. It's not only longer, but it's also taller. And you'll definitely see that on the inside when, when we're in and you can see the head height. But let's get into some of the differences on the the outside first. Starting up front, you both, you'll see both have the diamond plate uh, protected propane storage. You can, they do come with one propane tank, but you can easily add a second. The difference on the 400, as you can see, is you have a little extra rack system that's up front to throw some of your outdoor equipment that you can tie down uh, when traveling. Moving on to the door side, Again, the height is gonna be the difference when you first, first walk in, you'll see the door is gonna be a difference when you, when you go from the 320 to the 400. Little more obvious head height. But what I do like on both of them, they do maintain all the nice uh, construction features uh, like the, the, the double uh, pane windows here, um, the step, etc. And even one thing that I really enjoy, especially because we're campers outside, we love to enjoy mother nature, we can bring our table outside for both. So that, that is a similarity but take a taking a uh, look at the outside other than the the colors again head height shape pretty much going to be what you're going to see the difference moving into the back what i love on both of them is uh, definitely the lights that are up high and the ground clearance so if you are navigating some hills and and uh, valleys this way you'll be able to, to to navigate without bottom out but again they all have a lot of similarities like your your stabilizer jacks and such but what we're going to get into is the utilities are going to be a big difference because the 400 is a little bit longer, we ha we're gaining a, a bit more storage here underneath the rear bed. So we can stow some, some extra goodies on, on the outside. And like I said up front, you also have that storage up front. So 400, a little bit more in storage. Both of them do have a nice uh, docking station that's really, um, uh, man, I, I just think it, it's brilliant. Not only is it tucked inside, so in case you get into some of the colder temperatures, it's protected a little bit more, but it even has a light. So that way, if you're, you're trying to do this at night or way early morning uh, before the sun comes up, you have all your hookups here that's lit and um, labeled, etc. So it, they did a good job on maintaining that throughout the uh, both product lines. And of course, they both come with the Audi system so you're going to get the benefits of the, the um, a better heat and a much more efficient water um, uh, system to heat, heat up as you call for it. Difference on the bathroom on the outside that you're going to notice between the 320 and the 400. The 320 comes with a uh, cassette potty. Um, um, Five, uh, you have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like five gallons where the 400 you'll see in a second has a dedicated black tank. So not only the, the capacity is gonna be obviously a bit bigger in the 400, but just, just doing that dirty job, it's gonna be a little bit easier the 400 with hooking up at the uh, sewer system that's uh, right there at your campsite as opposed to taking this to a dump station. Moving on to the 400 on, the, on this side, uh, the door side, again, you can see that head height, that difference in, in, in the overall height of the camper gives it the, the ability to, to make a bigger, uh, taller door. So just to get in and out, especially for us that are a little bit taller. All right, then moving up on the front, they both maintain a front window, which, I, which is great because we all definitely love outdoor lighting coming into our campers. Um, but you're gonna see the difference definitely with a bigger window with the 400 because it does pick up a little bit more width. And we'll definitely see that on the inside as we get in and talk about some of the features on the inside. And then last but not least on the 
utility side, you're gonna see a difference on the 400s with this grate here. Both come with an air conditioner, but the 400 comes with a, um, the capacity, I guess, uh, flow is a little bit bigger, you, if you wanna say that, in the 400, but also has an electric side uh, to it as well. So if you get into some of those cooler nights that's not super cold, you can use, you can use either or heating system. And then as I mentioned, you're gonna have a black tank and a gray tank. So here you're gonna, the traditional RV hookup at your campsite, you're gonna have your uh, sewer hose, but you have, you're picking up from five gallons, if I'm not mistaken, to like 12 or 15 gallons in the 400. So you're tripling your black tank capacity. You're slightly getting a, a bit more increase in your, uh, your dirty water, your gray water. And then of course your fresh water is um, a bit bigger in the 400. So other than the utility stuff, the other big advantage that you're going to see and um, give you some homework, look at the solar capacity, the battery capacity, and more importantly, the inverter uh, availability on the 400. What that means really to, to you is you're going to be able to go off the grid and, and sustain, uh, you know, say like a weekend a little bit better in the 400. So again, for 2024, these are the co uh, quick comparison differences in the new camp 320 and the 400. All right, Teardrop fans, we're inside the 320. We're doing a comparison of the 320 by New Camp and the 400 by New Camp for the 2024 model year. Uh, I was figured to start in the 320 um, and just talk about a lot of uh, the quick features that we're also going to hit in the 400. But any of the specs and, and uh, small details, certainly do some homework and, and read up. But there's a reason I'm sitting back here on the seat and Nick's up front video and. I'm not standing up. It is, it is tough. I'm 6'1". It's tough for me to, to stand up in here. We'll look at uh, when we get to the 400. But also just the overall, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the footprint is smaller. So it's a little bit narrow, a little bit uh, shorter, and obviously a little bit less uh, in head heights. But so anyway, getting into some of the, uh, the quick bullet points for the differences is first and foremost is your, your living uh, area. This is by day your, your dinette, that, which is really nice. You can swing around and accommodate whatever situation that you want, may, may need uh, for, for meals or playing cards or something. But the big difference between this over the 400, as you'll see, is we have a dedicated bed in the 400 and the, and the dinette up front. So by night, this needs to be converted into, um, into your bed. Not hard at all. You take the cushions and you, you look, uh, watch our other video on the 320 specifically, you'll see how we do it. Um, but it just takes a little, little bit more effort. Um, you're still gonna get a lot of the similarities as far as the kitchen aspect of, of the camper. We're gonna have our microwave in both. We're gonna have a sink in both. We're gonna have a two uh, burner stove top in both. And lastly, we're gonna have a refrigerator in both. But you're gonna see that uh, the microwave is gonna be a little bit different in the size. The sink is gonna be a little bit different in both. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the refrigerator uh, capacity or the size is a little bit different. Entertainment, uh, we definitely still have the same uh, we still have a TV we still have stare you know music that kind of thing to really enjoy our camping weekend uh, but you're gonna see the, the placement uh, the size of the TV etc is gonna be a little bit different um, and then of course your heating and air conditioning as I mentioned on the outside of the video we have two different air conditioner systems so this is they're both central air but we have a um, a bit uh, different capacity on both. So it's just gonna be able to cool, in the 400, it's gonna be able to cool that larger volume of, of, of camper uh, air a uh, little bit quicker. Um, and it, then you do also have the Audi system that is phenomenal. If you haven't done some research, definitely do that on that. Um, but you have a, a better heat in both, and also, um, I guess if you will, unlimited hot water supply. And then last but not, lot, not least, but is the bathroom setup. You're gonna notice on the bathroom on the 320, versus a 400 night and day. Um, again, because you have a lower ceiling height than the 320, it's gonna be a wet bath in the sense of you probably are gonna maybe sit on the, um, on the, on the toilet to, to shower up, if you will. Um, whereas the 400, we've got obviously a, a bit more space, not only in height, but you're gonna see uh, a bit more in the elbow room. So there you go. There's some quick features on the 320 that we're also gonna jump over to the 400 and compare and see, see what you think. All right, so everybody, we're inside now the 400 by New Camp. Uh, again, the comparisons between a 320 and a 400. 
Uh, the 400, as I mentioned earlier, over the 320 has got a bigger footprint. So we're not only a little bit wider, we're um, a few feet longer and a little bit taller. So starting up front, as you can see, we have a dedicated dinette booth. Now the difference between this over the, uh, the dinette in the 320, this is a little bit smaller. However, this lays down into a bed and then you're gonna see a little bit later, we have a bed in the back. Um, but this is also optioned with a bunk bed. So we can actually get uh, two twins up here and the bed in the back so we can comfortably sleep for, um, you know, obviously two adults, two kids, where in the 320, we're only sleeping probably two, maybe the dog on the floor kind of thing. Um, other than that, moving to the back, we're gonna see a difference in the kitchen. Again, bigger footprint, more area to work with. You're gonna find more storage um, on the sink and the stove top. Uh, you don't you have on um, both you have a um, glass covering so you can utilize that for more counter space but you do have overall more counter space underneath all that is going to you're going to pick up a lot more storage a little bit more uh, cubby hole at the top um, opposite of that is going to be the big difference in the bathroom on the 400 is it's more complete wet bath you have the toilet, you have the sink, you have the shower, but you're gonna find more elbow room, you're gonna find more head height, and even just the shower alone is uh, set up a little bit more flexible with a longer hose to give you the ability to, to wash, wash and rinse um, a lot easier in, say, like the 320. And then we're moving to the back, we have, again, more storage around the refrigerator. Not only the refrigerator is set up high, which is, easy, in my mind, a little bit more easily accessible, but we're also picking up a more storage below it and when I say more we've got two big um, uh, cabinet areas one with a drawer and one with just an open area that you can stow a lot of stuff in places and then finally in the back the big difference is a dedicated bed of course you have your entertainment stuff similar to the 320 with the TV um, so you can kind of rest up and of course you got the uh, the um, the you know storage underneath the bed as i mentioned on the outside we're picking up more more there but overall having a dedicated bed just makes um you know daily camping routine a little bit easier not having to change it up morning and night um, and then the, the last big difference in the bed area in the back is the the back window we're picking up a window so we're getting a little bit more cross ventilation a little bit more light um, just just to uh, open up that back area if you will so what do you think teardrop lovers the 400 or the 320 what would you go with? All right, Teardrop fans, there you have it. The differences between New Camp's 320S and the 400. What do you think? Which one would you go with? We definitely have different footprints, so we have the ability to do different things. Maybe it's a small one that you like, so you can navigate some tight trails, or just maybe just don't have the tow vehicle to tow something large. It does come in about a thousand pounds lighter than the 400. Or hey, you've got extra camping buddies, maybe some kids. 400 is is your your option either way this new camp uh, product is phenomenal and definitely needs to be on your radar so i'm mike v with beckley's rvs if you like the video give us a thumbs up comment below on any questions i know we went fast so if there's anything in detail that you want to hear about certainly check out our individual videos on each on each product and show us some love smash that like button i'm mikey b with beckley's rvs we'll see you at the campsites